what is it up here? It's probably about another three degrees hotter down there. It's another incredibly hot day here in Italy. And by hot, I mean like it's got to be like 36 degrees. So we are escaping the boat for a little bit and we're going to the beach. Okay. Actually, you gotta push to go. <laughs> In you get, go on, go for a swim. Water is so warm, it's almost tropical. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Stay there. There's nowhere to go. How's all the yachts out? I know. Hello, sweetie. She's been taught to just sit on someone's arm and not kick. Except when she wants to swim away. Except. Alicia, I was trying to hold her against her will. No, off you go. Mm. <laughs> What's up, This is oh, it's quite cool here, though. though. You have to admit, it's quite cool. Oh. It's quite cool. It's better than being on the hard stand, isn't it? <laughs> we have to put the dog backpack. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what I need. We spend more time in the water and less on the hard stand. You're the You're most beautiful. cynic. You're beautiful. Are you always this cynic? You are always. Oh, <laughs> smooches. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you tell her what to do. How's that attitude? <laughs> That's on camera. Uh, hey, hey. What's the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're jealous. I'm sorry, did see I laugh at you? See if she'll do it for me. Did I laugh at Rose, you? I'm sorry. Rose, back. <laughs> oh, beautiful Good girl. girl. Good dog. The decision to come for a swim was definitely a winner. Hello. Doing a bad job at supervising Trent because you're just rolling around and showing me your belly. How is this getting the boat back in the water? I love the attitude she gives. She's huffed at me. Oh no, oh, she's so. What are you doing to get this boat back in the water? She you are a grub. Don't worry about her, you lay there. You are a grub. Don't wipe your grub on me. Yeah, you go tell the worker to hurry up. This just reminded me looking at the blue coming through the black. When they launched him, our boat in Cape Town and they were doing final checks, they realized that they painted the boat the wrong color. It was supposed to be black and they painted it blue. <laughs> it looked much worse than this. This is blue and black because we painted the first layer in blue so we could see when we were through to the first layer when it ablated. I think it's one of those places where you can save massive money on your boat for very little effort. The hardest, most painful part is if you have to take it back. That's the hard bit, but if, if, if you use an ablative anti-foul, so it comes off, so you never actually have to take it back after you've done it properly the first time, it just takes itself back and then you add to the top of it, and you're not actually increasing the, the weight with ineffective layers. You just, you just keep painting it on. You're just stalking me. If I try and walk away, I just get followed. Velcro dog. Oh my god. Fighting me. Friendship over.
Tonight's job is to paint another layer of anti val on the boat because we are slowly getting back to the point where we're going to be going in the water where the final works will be done here at Mont Falcone. So Tynan's going to be painting, I'm going to be mixing and I'm not really sure what Trent's going to be doing but I'm sure it'll be something productive. Tonight, Tynan mixes swamp goo, Talisha eats a whole chicken raw <laughs> and Trent empties a bin on yeah. six at work. <laughs> Please don't break the tip key. You better pull the middle up of the trolley. The handle's not right. Let's not avoid our warranty. We're be sending this back to America. What? Don't you need to fix the handle? What handle? That. Oh, the handle that I turned into a, a scooter hitch. Yeah, that's not coming back from that. <laughs> oh! Technology! <laughs> Can't do the anti-foul. <laughs> Can't get the lid off. That's why I Sorry. Sent That's why I sent to leash to help. Are you in the dirt? What? Why? <laughs> why are you in the dirt? Oi! I watched you, we had a chat, and you weren't going to be in the dirt. Hey? You get out the dirt and come over here and be civilised. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> get out the dirt, yeah. You're going to get from the rear, <laughs> go all the way back and hold it shoulder height. Nobody needs to put it on my arm. Thumbnail! <laughs> You're the paint expert, is that looking alright? Yeah. You're putting the paint on the boat. <laughs> the number one most important step. I'll get these anyway because they're cheap, they're their home brand. Yeah, yeah, the router shank, that's my next thing. Our shopping is done and now it is time to explore Trieste.
where my 20 something year old grandfather said goodbye to his homeland and moved across to the other side of the world to a country that was completely different to what he knew. I can't believe this building is still here. And it looks exactly the same. With everything that goes on with this boat, the victory system. you're still in Italy. The sun has gone down, we've just finished our tour of Trieste. It was pretty awesome, but now it's time to head back to the boat and head back to one very, very disgruntled dog. Uh, Titan has just sent us a video quite clear that she's not impressed by how her day went. Food, walk, swim. Food? <laughs> oh, now you're up. Then at the roundabout, take the second exit. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Just on the other side of town today, near the highway, there was a big fire. And it had been pretty clear here all day, but now the smoke has come across. Hence the mask, because there's literally ash in the air. Um, and there is absolutely no wind, so I think we're kind of stuck with this ash flying past us. This, this mask is rated for radiation particulates, biohazard, um, bushfire, scooter riding, most things. I need a tank. Storm to fire! Much UFO. A bit of wind came in this morning, so the smoke from last night has cleared up. But unfortunately, the forest fire seems to have cleared up again, so we're probably going to get more later today. Still looks like it's out in the forest, though. Do you know which way Mount Vesuvius is? That way? No. We're in Italy? No, actually. It's that way. Well, based on scientific evidence, <laughs> it's that way. So it's only been about 20 minutes since I last videoed this and it's gotten way worse. Um, I think we're going to be locking up the boat as soon as this wind drops. So there's, there's a wind that's coming from behind us blowing that way, but looking above us, the smoke's coming this way. So I think as soon as the lower wind drops, we're done and we're going to be absolutely smoked in again. So over where the fire actually is, there is the main town of Montfalcone and then there's some forest and some hills that then go to the Slovenian border and then past that. So it is quite a big forest. It's very dry. It's been extremely hot here. We've been here five weeks and it's been hot pretty much the whole time uh, with a lot of lightning strikes. So it's unsurprising that it has eventually caught fire. Um, we've seen a lot of the helicopters and the planes today trying to put it out. I'd say their main priority obviously is to protect the town. Um, if the forest burns, obviously it's not great, but at the same time, at least it gets rid of the fuel load on the floor, it's mostly pine and things like that. So that's extremely flammable, especially in this kind of weather. Looking over in the distance, the smoke has really subsided. So it looks like we were right earlier and the firefighters did manage to get this under control, which is just really great news. Thank <laughs> you.